I was thinking we should get started soon. Hard to believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. What were they thinking? Leaving their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place? Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? That time already? Well then, I'll go on ahead, alright? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Please report to the I guess Roll decided not to come then. Hmm? Oh, yes. She's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, she's been looking for it all her life. I've always been fond of Roll, you know that. But all's fair in love and war. Nothing to report, sir. Keep your eyes wide open. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island... Did you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? The more the merrier, wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stuff it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Ah! No, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra cash to make ends meet. If you didn't buy only what you like, maybe we wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think you are? I... No squabbling till the job's finished, remember, Teasel? Teasel! As I'm sure all of you are aware, no one has succeeded in landing on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Beryl and myself. Thirty years ago, Professor Beryl and I journeyed to that island and returned. Over the years, we've been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves. But now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. Rule! Breakfast ready! I made the eggs just the way you like them! Hey, look! It's Gramps! Huh? Don't worry, Roll. The mother load can't be found that easily. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the Mother Lode, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island.
<coughs> this ends my presentation. Thank you. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes? Has your research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? That's a good question. Personally, I believe it to be something of tremendous importance to mankind. Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps a new energy source, more powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. Well, I think... Mom! Matilda! You, you're alive! That's her! That's the one who stopped me into the locker! <laughs> Has it occurred to you that this great lost treasure might not be what you think it is? Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. and we can find out for ourselves. But... It's the only way to be sure, you know? Oh, I guess you're right. Hmm, let's go. I'll get changed, then get the engine started. Can you clean up the dishes for me? Thanks. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. And just like the first episode of the Witch series says, that was a plot storm. And no, I don't want the demo to start. I want the game to start. from the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I'll take over. Ah, oh, thanks. Data, it's almost
almost lunchtime. Can you get everything ready? Okay, okay, okay. Mega Man, thank you. Huh? Well, I was a little down before, and... Uh-huh. I was thinking, what would I do if they find the mother load? I guess I got a little scared. Scared? Why? I've been searching for the mother load because I thought if I found it, I'd be able to see my parents again. I guess I was just fooling myself. I've got to accept reality. Face the facts. They are gone. Both of them are gone. Oh, but still... When you said we should go see for ourselves, I remembered something my mother told me a long time ago. She said a digger should never give up hope. Right! My mom and my dad and the mother load. I won't. I won't give up on them yet. That's the spirit. We'll find him, Rule. <laughs> anyway, Mega Man, what should we do once we catch up with Gramp's ship? Oh, that's right. This cuts in his dialogue. Can we land there? The flutter can't get through the wind surrounding Forbidden Island. We'll need a special ship if we want to land there. My father once designed a special kind of flying ship called a drop ship. I'm pretty sure we could use it to get there. Okay, but she's big. Who was she really? She does look a lot like my mother, but I can't believe my own mother would do something like that. I wonder who she is. Yeah, especially since she's been missing your whole life. Eh, whatever. Just give me my shining laser and I'll take care of it. I'm really sorry, Mega Man. I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. What? You bitch, I'm out of here. Okay, we can figure out what to do once we get there, right? Roll, do you smell something burning? Mm hmm. <laughs> Data! Data! I'll go see what's wrong. Wait, Mega Man, take this with you. What? what? What is it? It's a fire extinguisher. I'll tell you more later. Okay, back me up. You know how to use your fire extinguisher, right? I'll let you say hell. Okay then, good luck. Just in case, I'll work on the Flutter's emergency sprinkler. Oh boy, we get no time to digest all that's been going on. Mission start! Opening cutscene has a crisis, and now we have another crisis right here. And actually, if you do take too long with this, she will open up the sprinklers and diffuse the fire automatically. But I've never actually seen when it happens when it's done because it's very easy to do. Alright, unlike the first game, the special weapons work a bit differently. Like, your green bar is how much you can use at, at once, and you have to wait for it to be charged. Once it hits zero. And your blue bar is your, uh, your ammunition like normal. It will start depleting when you're recharging. So for the fire extinguisher, we have infinite love, so the blue bar will never go down. And I'm saving that door for last, because it's a bit special. Come on. Woo! God, I wasn't standing in front of there. Alright, that's good. Whatever happened to make this fire? What the? Is this the kitchen? You stupid Mike. Oh yeah, if he gets caught on fire, put him out. Because he can run into you and it will hurt. I gotcha. Well, don't run back into the flames, you dumbass. Because you're a stupid monkey. No, stop doing that. Just a bit. Should get to get closer to finish this off. 
What an epic fail there. Oh, that hurt more than I remember it. Come on. Go away already. Alright, one more to go. Gotcha. This is your live update. Although the Sulphur Bottoms Hall was damaged in the attack by a mysterious woman, the damage has been repaired. We expect it to enter the Maelstrom surrounding Forbidden Island any time. Preparations are complete. The crew ready. The Sulphur Bottom is gathering speed, preparing to penetrate the cloud of mystery surrounding Forbidden Island. Following the attack hours ago, we were all asked to disembark and return to our ships, where we stand watching Von Blucher embark on his greatest adventure. And what may be humanity's greatest adventure? Will he succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final check complete. We can get underway whenever you're ready, sir. Understood. Well then, everyone, are you ready? We won't let anything get in the way of a story. We're not like those wimpy TV reporters. You're really going to go through with this? Yes, I am. I have to. Well, if you're going to do it, then do it. I mean, we've come this far, right? Thank you, Barrow. All right then, let's go. Main engines online. Main engines online. Set course for the center of the island. Engage. Looks like they're intent on ignoring my warning. Weapons activated. Remember, I don't want them hurt. Understood. Stabilizers on this ship are amazing. You can hardly feel the wind. I'm impressed. Huh? Unidentified object approaching from above at high speed, sir. Activate defense grid. No one will stop me. Not now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Vaughn, order the Drakes to go to yellow alert and stand by. more. Just a little closer. Fire! Now! <gasps> Fire repressors activated. Engines offline. She's out of control. Emergency escape pod launch mechanism damaged. What? No. Now you've really done it. Apologies, Mistress Yuna. You should retreat. They probably won't crash for a while at least. I'd hope to stop them before they got this far. Is being sucked into that storm! <gasps> Gramps! What should we do? We can't take the flutter in there. And we're almost out of fuel. We'll have to set down on a nearby island. We can figure out what to do then. So that's a dropship. Hmm, almost like it was made for that. Probably to avoid this. Yeah, good idea. Alright, before that I'm gonna end it off here. Because there was a lot to happen at once. I didn't really get much wording because way too many cinematics. 
So instead, yeah, it's Dancing Monkey, the same one that set our home on fire. Is also how you recharge your energy and save the game. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And next time, I'll really talk about what's going on. Till then, Jogger Studio, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.